Right, this is a, I've got a very short interview with a young woman I've known for fucking like maybe 30 years. I knew her as a kid, I know her family, and her father was a very, very, very close friend of mine, God rest his soul. I'm not going to mention no names because I'd rather not, and the lady I'm with would rather be anonymous, but she's going to speak vocally without seeing her. But I've known the family for 30 years. They're proper old school family. They're almost family to myself. But the daughter, who I'm with now, has got a massive, massive issue with drink. And she's going to openly talk about it for maybe five or six minutes. She don't want to put a boat race on camera for obvious reasons. But I've persuaded her because she trusts me. I've come around to see her and her mum to have a quick chat. So what I'm going to ask... I'm just going to call her Carol, right? So I'm going to ask Carol now, what are your daily struggles with the drinking? Can you just run by, when you wake up in the morning, Carol, what's the first thing you normally do? Speak up. Shake, be sick, sweating. So it's a drama? Yeah, panicking. Right, so can I ask you something? Because obviously you're going to talk openly about it. If you don't have a drink in the morning, how do you normally feel and how would it affect your day? Like I spoke to you, if you never had a drink tomorrow morning, how would you feel? Be honest, be truthful. Well, I've never gone that far not to have a drink, but I need a drink just to function. So you have to, you, you've got to have the drink every morning just to take the edge off it, is that right? Correct, yeah. So if you never had the drink every morning, which is, I know it's vodka, right? If you never had the drink, are you telling me because there's going to be a lot of people listening to this. And, and, and how old are you, Carol? Be honest, how old are you now? 40. 40 years of age. If you don't have a drink, how does it make you feel? Is it like a drastic fucking, you've got the shakes, you yeah. can't function, and you are in a bad place? Do you? Can you not function every day without that drink first thing in the morning? No. Can't function without a drink, no. Right, and what help have you seeked? You can be you can be open about it. It doesn't matter because no one knows, no one's going to see you. But what help have you seeked? And how do you find the help out there for someone that's got a, a problem with drink? How do you find it? Is it absolutely horrendous, or, or is it? Yeah, something I, that... I ring, I ring to get help every single day. Oh, they're on sick leave. Oh, someone will call you back. Someone will call you back. No, they don't. And what is the what 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 would you say is the last time that you went? let's say, 48 hours, two or three days, when was the last time that you actually managed to start to drink for two or three days? Can you remember it? Be truthful. It was about three months ago. Right. Um, Stars gave me some tablets to stay off the drink. For people that are watching or listening, Stars are an organisation that basically are like AA or CA. So, obviously, my friend has approached him and now she's going to do it. So, go on, sorry to butt in. What was that? Say that again. Um, yeah, so about three months ago, I... Um, stars i took some tablets like just because i just want to completely stop and right. everyone's saying oh it's dangerous just to stop so anyway so i took these tablets three days i went without a drink right that's the first time in 12 years right um but then after the three days i thought oh why ain't had a drink for three days Treat yourself. Might as well have one, yeah. Right, right. So when you say them tablets, I mean, are they prescribed only by the, the organisation? Yeah. You can't just get in your shop and buy them, can you? You've got to be on no. a system, or you've got to be on a sort of programme to, to, to yeah. for, for them to prescribe you with them. But if you, on a daily basis, be open, yeah, what do you normally spend money-wise on vodka a day? Tenner, 12, 15 quid? Just be honest. Mm. I'd say 15, 15 pounds. 15 pounds a day, every single day. Yeah, and that's half a bottle of vodka and two cans of K-cider. Right, so half a bottle of vodka, two cans of K-cider, seven days a week, no stops, no breaks. Right. I mean, I spoke to you earlier. We're not going to go into too much personal details because this, this girl is a very good friend of mine, but I'm just going to try and throw this out there because uh, I think it needs to be said that alcohol addiction... Being an alcoholic is a serious matter. It's the worst thing on the planet, yeah? It puts cocaine addiction to the back of the queue because it's readily available every day. It ain't illegal. You know, you just don't know when to stop. But on a daily basis, would you say that 
when you have a drink, does it does does it seem to take the edge off the problems you've got with your mind and your daily routine of getting through the day? Does it take the edge off it as far as you're concerned? Yeah, all, all the worries, like, well, in the morning, I have to have a drink to make myself feel better. Right. Um, I never take drugs, never have. No, I know that. Um, but I need that drink just to stop me shaking. Um... Did you ever think that you get to this point? That, Never. That, that, I mean, no. I've known you as a young kid. We both know that, right? Yeah. I won't go into details. I don't need you. But you used did, to have lovely asses, nice cars. I know. Yeah, I know. Lost everything. I know you did. But do you feel that you are in a position now where you, you, you know, you're 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 struggling to believe that you can get off the drink and sort your life out? Has it gone so far in that it's just like a daily routine? It's just the normal. To buy the quarter bottle of vodka, the two cans of cake. It's just a normal existence, everyday living. Yeah. And then looking after my mum, that stresses me out. Um, See, this 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 young lady is looking after her mum, who's like my own mother. So she's got that on her shoulders. But would you say, using the drink, do you find that takes the edge off of the anxiety, the pain, and obviously the reality of being in the position you are now? Does it take the edge off it? Yeah. But then when it wears off, we both know it's still there, isn't it? Yep, wake up in the morning, the problem's still there. So it ain't gonna, it ain't gonna resolve anything. How long have you been drinking now, in total? <sighs> How long would you class yourself as, as as an alcoholic or an heavy drinker? How long would you say? Twenty Carol? years. Twenty years. I mean, I knew you when you was a young kid. Did you ever think for one minute that you'd be drinking every single day of your life? No. When I knew you as a kid, obviously, I knew you. Were I like think it all, it all started when I lost my dad. I think. So you reckon that was the, that was the main that was the main. Did that ignite it for you to go overboard with a drink? Yeah. Or was you still drinking? I know you still drinking at the time, but was Yeah, it... but not every day. So yeah. you used to start a bit of binge drinking? Yeah. But since you've had the problems with your dad and your mother... I used to go weeks without a drink. Right. So if I said to you now, three days you can't have a drink, would it be a struggle? If I said from yeah. tomorrow you've got to go through it, do you reckon you'd struggle like fuck to do it? Yeah, I would, yeah. Well, there you have it. That is a short interview... I would like to do a longer interview with my friend, but it's personal for me and it's personal for her. So I hope people can take something from it. I mean, you know, this young lady has explained that it's a massive problem, the drink, and there's thousands and thousands of people in the same boat, yeah? So I'm going to throw this out there. Um, send me your comments over. Obviously, it's a short clip. You know, it's something close to me. It ain't something I'll do every day because, you know, these people like my family. But I want people to remember what this young woman said. 20 years she's been drinking. She has to have a drink in the morning to function. The help available is quite scarce, correct? It's quite scarce, yeah? And it ain't a, it ain't a great thing to see for myself. So I'm going to connect with her. I'm going to come back maybe in six to eight weeks and see if we can move on and see if we can get any progress with this very special individual. That's it. I hope you enjoy the video.